Well, it's time for another JWiki update, and I come to you from the unceded territories of the Qualicum and Comox First Nations, and we thank them for the use of their lands. So, this update, we're going to talk about a project that we're starting up that involves um, the community. So, um, I'm going to share my screen. And as you can see, we're on the main page of the Blue Jay Wiki. And the Blue Jay Wiki is the current wiki. It's the one that's going to keep running and it'll have all the current information on it. It's the working wiki, for lack of a better term. We're going to go over to the new version of the wiki. And that's the yellow wiki. And you see it looks different because we're trying out different things over here. Um, eventually, the, J the Blue Jay Wiki may look like this. But at the moment, it doesn't because we're trying stuff out. One of the things we can do on the sidebar here is add extra links. And I've added one for the essay categorization project. So I'll just click on that. It'll take us right to that page. And what this is, is a chance to go through the essays. There's a lot of them, as you'll see, and we're going to add categories to them. And uh, we'll go through that process. But in order to do this, you first have to sign up for the wiki. So after you've clicked on this link, it'll take you right to this page. It'll give you some instructions. Um, and it points out that there are two wikis, the blue wiki and the yellow wiki, and we'll be working on the yellow wiki for this project. Now, before you can edit either wiki, you have to create an account. So if you don't have a current account with the JWiki, you have to email the JWiki group and it'll fire up this email for you. So when you email, the subject should be subscribe with your first and last name and your first name and last name separated by a space will be your user ID. And also you have to include your email address so we can get back in touch with you and send you a temporary password. When you go through that and log in, then you change the password, of course, for security, and you are able to log in on the wiki. Uh, if you want to have more information about editing the wiki, you can click on this here and it'll take you through some of the things you can know about working with the wiki and things. But honestly, for this particular project, you don't really need that much because it's pretty simple and I'll go through the steps. And here's the categorized essays. And these are all the essays in J, in the J essay group. And there's a lot of them. And so what we're going to do is we're going to categorize some of them just to make it easy to be able to um, find them by looking for categories. It'll break things down a little bit, might make the essays a little easier to search. Um, you can see if I click back here on essays, this is what they would look like right now. We're hoping to break these into smaller groups. So coming back to essay categorize, you'll notice here uh, there's parentheses and there's a number in between. The number indicates that there has been a category. Somebody's been in and assigned a category. In this case, they've assigned history. So it's as easy as that. Now, if you see an asterisk, it means right now, and we're going to work on this to change this up, but right now, um, the asterisk means that we don't have access to these in the yellow wiki. If you were interested in what they are, you can flip back over to the blue wiki and look for the 235 pro pro problem and you can access it there. So the zero here means that nobody has uh, been in to add a category yet. So we'll go back to look at our steps. And so we've seen that we've got the categorize. We now choose an essay. Well, that's pretty straightforward. You click on it, it explains the asterisk. And then you add in a category. So right here, I'm just going to highlight this because that's probably a pretty easy way to do it. And I'll just copy that. So I'm all set with this copied. I will go in and categorize my list. I'm going to add it, open in a new tab just to make things a little bit easier. So here's my list. I'm going to look at 88 hats. Okay. So 88 hats is a puzzle, as you can see right off the top. Uh, and there's a solution. You can try and figure it out yourself. Um, down here is the strategies and you can go through the strategies and you do a quick read. I've done read through this one before. One of the things that I'm interested in, it's an abelian group. Uh, so that might be something I look at as a category. Uh, certainly puzzle. Okay. So that's sort of the way it works. So I might put in puzzle and ab abelian group. And I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. Um, so, how do I do that? How do I make a change to this? 
Well, I go up and if you're logged in, you've got an edit tab. If you aren't logged in, I think it just says source, but if it says edit, you can click on this and that gives you access to editing this. And this is all the background markup that goes with putting a wiki together. But what I do is I'll go down to the bottom of this, go right down to the bottom, hit return, and I'm pasting category and I get to choose my category name. So for first off, I'm going to choose puzzle because it is a puzzle. And I can add one more than one category. And this is part of the reason that you get to choose your own category names is you may find uh, category names that are really good for these that we haven't thought of yet. Abelian. Make this capital just to be consistent. So I've done uh, puzzle and abelian. So I'm adding those two categories. Um, I'm just going to go down at the bottom of this page here. It scrolls through, of course, within the window. And then there's more information down here. So what I'm going to do is put in, uh, what was the name of this essay? 88 hats. And I'm just going to say cat. And that's all I need to do. Uh, and the reason I'll put cat there is it just be a quick signal to everybody. You're just changing a category. It'll be sort of inside information code does. You don't have to watch this page. That's usually done for people who are changing a page or creating pages and they want to keep an eye on, eye on any changes that are made. Um, this is a minor edit. You're just adding a category to it. Um, you can preview if you wish, um, but I'm just going to save these changes. And I'm almost done. If I go to the bottom of this whole thing again, now I've got categories as puzzle and abelian. Now I'm back at my list. Uh, it'd probably help if you had two tabs open. One was the essays that you're categorizing, and then as you go in, you can open a new tab for the, each uh, essay. But in any case, I've got back to this essays categorize. Of course, you could always click back here and then access the category, that, that list that way. Uh, so there's a number of ways to do it. But you can see here, it still says 88 hats zero. I'm going to change that. Well, this is a uh, wiki page. And of course, 88 hats, there's zero. I'm going to increment one. And I'm going to type in 88 hats cat. Because again, that'll tell me that I've made a change of category to that, that essay uh, name. And again, I don't need to watch the page. This is a minor edit. I'll save changes. And look at that. Now 88 hats has, has the one beside it. So as people go in and add categories, um, those numbers will increase. The reason I put the numbers bes beside the essays is if you want to go into something that hasn't been done, um, that's great. You can do that. Um, maybe you want to, you've got a favorite, probably you want to see how people have categorized it. You can do that. And as I said before, every essay can have more than one category. And then what we are going to do is we'll look at all the categories people put under the essays, and then we'll start adding uh, categories that we think are particularly good, those will get transferred over to the, uh, the blue uh, J, the old version of J, or the, the working version of J. So it'll go back over here, and instead of going to this massive block of essays, these may be broken into groups, so uh, the groups might reflect the categories, and it just makes things a lot easier to search through. So um, this is a project we're doing and we're hoping that we get people involved because many hands make light work and uh, there's certainly a lot of work to do here. Now the other upside of doing this is there's a tremendous amount of information in the essays and uh, you probably haven't had a chance to look through them. You look through some of these, you are going to learn an awful lot. Now if you get into one that's more complicated and you don't think you can do anything, no harm, no foul. Just move on to one that you're interested in. But uh, every little bit helps, and I uh, look forward to the next uh, version of the JWiki update. And until then, happy array programming.